Hi, sunshine. On the screen. Every student in Jessica Lawrence's class is a bit different. Looks like I have almost everybody today. Woohoo! Be in your seats, class. Class, class. Yes, yes, yes. So it only makes sense that their classroom would offer different choices to meet their needs. Whether they pick a balance ball chair so they can get their wiggles out. You can just do this for a few minutes. I'm like one of the kids that likes to move. Or something even more cozy. I think it's a bit more comfortable to work with. I'm a bit more energized because I'm relaxing. It's clear that students most certainly have an opinion on this issue. I think they would definitely want comfortable seating. Kids want comfortable seating. Kids want nice lights. Kids want like very open areas just to like sit down and relax. I always just want to sit like on a cushion or like lean back to read. But in my classroom we don't have any of those. We just have just like sit at your desk. And that is something that they are keeping in mind as they design the future of Louisville Elementary. They got to design their own learn, innovative learning space, something that they want to see. And we have the bond coming next year, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity for them to experience real project, have a real audience, um, a real budget, and make a difference in their school. The plans will be presented to the principal and our school district and could be used in the renovation. We've talked a lot about that, like you're creating a space for future generations. In fifth grade, we'll be able to actually see it. So I'm just excited to actually be able to see how it turns out. The minute we talked about the reality of this, the excitement level went up, the engagement went up, everything was tenfold. The students got to pick what part of the school they are redesigning. I'm working on reorganizing the cafeteria and kind of making it more like a cafe. And in some cases, they even designed something completely new. I thought it would be fun to be underground. Your, your imagination is the only thing that's stopping you in this project. Think big. Make this your ideal learning space. They said the sky's the limit. You could go as far as you want and they just said. put whatever you want on your paper and fit the geometry in because we're doing geometry too. Keeping the original fish in the fish tank. The result has been outstanding, well thought out plans. We were thinking about changing the stairs to a ramp so that kids with disabilities could get there. Kids have a lot of different ideas in what they wanted to put on paper. So we're kind of like architects doing this project and like we have to make it to scale, so like how many square feet is each square. The best part is that their learning is demonstrated in a variety of different ways. We thought it would be good to have a 3D visual, so it'd be easier to understand. I don't remember doing a lot of projects when we were kids. I mean, the projects I can remember are creating a poster, and everyone created the same poster, essentially. On this wall. Each group and each individual student had the ability to showcase their learning in a way that fit them. The kids feel like, there's not this box we have to fit into. I never thought about the greenhouse yet. I can do what really works for me and show my skills. The result? Yeah. I really like the way that you used all your shapes. A lot of variety and student buy-in. Seeing these kids and their engagement with this and the excitement around it, this is why we got into teaching, right? The kids are driven and excited. Let's give the wizard a That's what we want to see. That's what we want to do. 